you know, nice bounce back win. Alex Cobb did a good job of, uh, you know, gave up the run early and then you know, looked like it appeared that we misplayed a ball that uh, forced another one. Um, but he did a nice job of kind of controlling his emotions, controlling himself to not let it get out of hand right there. Uh, and then the offense kind of came to life. Um, you know, that lefty is a young lefty. Obviously, you can see why he's uh, so highly touted and going to be talented. Uh, I thought our guys at bats were, were good against him. We had some good swings first time through, didn't have much to show for it. And then there were some adjustments made um, throughout the second round of the bats. You know, I, th I thought Taylor Featherstone really did a nice job. His at bats getting on base kind of ignited a lot of things, a lot of good things to happen. Suki with the big hit. Lomo, obviously, tremendous at bat to pick up to take the lead 3-2. to two. So some good offensive performance right there and um, found a way to win it there late. I mean, Alex, uh, you know, he's not invincible. He's going to give up some hits here and there. He gives up a home run to a guy that's hit a lot, and then they, they put some pressure on him. But that team is uh, they're, they're, they're a tough team. They don't stop. For Alex Cobb after the third inning, in what ways did you think he really turned it up a notch? Um, I thought he really showed some pretty good command with his with his, his fastball. You know, he got his pitch count back in order by the fourth or fifth, I think, because uh, it was kind of up there, probably a little bit by the, the guys behind him doing. So um, just kind of same old Alex, what we've seen. When, he, when he's got the command of the fastball, uh, he can mix in the curveball, and the changeup continues. To, you know, he threw some, uh, some more good ones tonight, so that was that was great. For You bring up Taylor Featherston. We've seen him... Uh, the times he's been in the starting lineup or he's coming off the bench, he's he's come in and produced for you. So to see a guy come to a new organization, be able to contribute, what does that say? That, well, I mean, it's it's been nice because we needed a guy like that. And um, the versatility is nice. He really gives good at bats. Um, you know, when he does put the ball in play, he's, you know, he's hit the ball hard multiple times now. He got a double today. He had some balls in the gap, not much to show for in Detroit, but uh, he swings the bat. He's, he's confident when he goes up to the plate. In the ninth there, Alex Colome, you know, uncharacteristic for Colome. What, what did you see from him on the mound? Uh, nothing. I mean, just, uh, you know, it looked like Votto went up there uh, kind of with the intent to ambush a pitch. He got a fastball. I think it was center cut, and, you know, he's, he's one of the game's best, didn't miss it. Uh, then the, the double that the guy hit looked like a pretty good pitch. Um, and then he left the cutter up to the, for the second run. It was talked about a little bit earlier this year, but Corey and Logan are definitely in a different position than they were this time last year. Can you talk about the work that those guys have done to really be in position to be all-stars and then they both come through tonight? Yeah, um, well, they, they have. They've had, you know, to this point, all-star seasons. and. I think they all get there a little differently. Um, both those guys were obviously uh, acquired last year, new teammates, new surroundings. Um, took some time to settle in, but, but they've done a nice job. And then, you know, Corey came in with, uh, you know, everybody likes to talk about him losing the weight and, and, and getting stronger. And I, I'm impressed with the way that he swung the bat and hit the ball the other way. Uh, you know, he's kind of similar to Votto that he shows genuine adjustment when he gets deep in counts and it's allowed him to find a lot of uh, ways to get hits. And then Lomo, uh, Lomo just hasn't been, he doesn't miss pitches. I mean, he goes up there with probably the most professional batter on our team. He knows what the pitcher's trying to do to him to get him out. And he sticks to his game plan and when he gets his pitch, uh, we've seen time and time again that, that he doesn't miss it. Yeah. Even more impressive tonight than it was against a tough left-hander and they came through like they did. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Corey stayed on a ball. I mean, it's, it, made, it amazes me, and I, we've seen it quite a bit, how much carry he gets on the ball uh, to center and to, to left center for, for being a left-hander. I mean, that ball he kind of – you saw in the highlight really, really stayed through it. It was, looked like a pitch. It was middle down. Yeah, there were a couple outfield plays that were maybe a little adventurous. Yeah, um, that's a nice a way, way to put it. Yeah. It's just kind of a win you, you – it wasn't pretty, but you take it kind of thing. You You're going to take every win, but we better start cleaning it up. Simple as that. I mean, uh, we, we play in the dome, make the adjustment. We're talking about Featherston's play on offense. He got to start at second. He's played third base, shortstop, first base. How does that defensive versatility help? Well, we ask a lot of our everyday guys. I mean, Lomo, 
uh, Beckham before he went down with the hand injury, Longo, you know, they're out there every single day. To be able to plug a guy in, one guy that can go and fill in multiple spots, that's where it really comes up to show. I mean, I'm sure, I would imagine he'll be in there again tomorrow somewhere. So, um, acquiring Trevor, Trevor Plouffe also helps with that, being a corner guy. But, you know, Featherston looks very comfortable wherever we've asked him to play so far. Kevin, you talked about Cobb's emotions and speaking of Trevor, Trevor Plouffe, we saw him kind of Real yeah, he did a nice movie. job. He did a nice job. I mean, you know, the, the review play was probably the, I think, the closest one. I, I think it was a call stand, so whatever angle they got, so be it. Then the other ones, you know, they, they got, from our vantage point, they got the calls right. But they were a bunch of close plays, and, uh, you know, when you run out of the challenge, you're out. And there's not much to be done. So Trevor did a nice job of calming Alex down there and uh, getting them back locked in.